Smith and Nephew's All Inside ACL Reconstruction Technique. This technique offers controlled graft pretensioning, pin guided retrograde drilling, and ultra strong fixation. Begin preparing the graft by clipping one ultra button into each of the X Wing button holders. The adjustable loops should face towards the centre of the tensioner. Thread the tendon over the first ultra button and whip stitch the free ends together with mini tape loop suture on needle. Thread the tendon through the second ultra button and fold to create a quadrupled construct. Secure any free suture ends around the suture management post to hold in place. Place sutures at four points along the length of the construct according to your preference. Apply tension to the graft by turning the handle on the X-Wing until the desired tension has been achieved, referencing the tension scale on the device. Size the graft diameter with the slotted sizing block. The full femoral tunnel length can then be marked on the ultra button sutures to confirm button flip during later graft passage. Complete preparing the graft by marking the femoral socket length to confirm the graft position within the socket. Select the guide wire from the correspondingly sized Accufex TrueNav retrograde drill kit. Using the Accufex pinpoint pivoting guide system, place the guide wire in the desired location. Drill until the laser line on the tip of the guide wire is flush with the notch wall. Estimate the full femoral tunnel length using the Accufex tunnel gauge and the laser line at the midpoint of the guide wire. Use the pin-guided accuracy to anti-grade drill through the notch wall. A curette may be used in the notch to capture the guide wire. Once in the notch, advance the drill tip until the laser line is visible. Clear the window of the drill by pulling back on the guide wire until tactile feedback is felt. Position the plus sign in the desired blade deployment direction. Deploy the retrograde blade by advancing the grey knob towards the knee. Lock the blade in place by advancing the guide wire until a hard stop. Advance the orange bone bridge estimation tube against the cortical wall of the femur. Create the retrograde socket by slowly pulling the drill back and stopping once the desired bone bridge is achieved. The minimum recommended bone bridge for ultra button is 6 mm as shown. Once drilling is complete, advance the drill back into the notch. The drill may then be detached, the guide wire removed and the retrograde blade retracted. With a sport port cannula inserted, the suture passer can be passed down to the cannulation of the true nav drill and pulled out through the sport port and docked for later use. Repeat the true nav steps to create a tibial socket and tunnel. An ultra grab suture manager can then be passed on the tibial side. Shuttle the ultra button's green and cobraid sutures through the femoral tunnel and then pull on the green suture until the mark on the sutures are at the socket aperture. While holding counter tension on the graft, pull slightly past the mark to flip and seat the button on the cortical wall. Initially, reduce the femoral ultra button by pulling on the co-braid sutures while holding counter tension on the graft, stopping short of the full socket depth marked on the graft. Shuttle the tibial ultra button sutures through the tibial tunnel and pull the graft into the socket. A small extendo button may then be loaded onto the tibial ultra button to increase the button size. Reduce the tibial ultra button until the graft is bottomed out within the tibial socket. Return to the femoral ultra button and further reduce the button to achieve the desired graft tension. Cycle the knee. With the knee in full extension, assess ACL tension and fine tune as needed with either ultra button. The Smith & Nephew All Inside ACL Reconstruction Technique offers controlled graft pre-tensioning, pin-guided retrograde drilling and ultra-strong fixation.